tonight a final session from the ship run and yet again we are going to talk about a discourse showing the mercy of lord shiva a history of something that he did and then we are going to talk a little bit about something he wears and where did it originate from some people saw me wearing sit down everybody sit down some people saw me wearing red drugs on my wrist the other day the same mala that i would wear on my neck and the question was what is that you're wearing and how come if you really look at your baba at home they always have on this thing round the neck and why is that have you ever seen the kava of a hindu nowadays a growing trend in all vehicles that belong to the hindu we have the rudraksh bead hanging in the car but if you ask them what is that for what is the purpose of it because very rare you might use that one that is in the car to use it to do physical job so then there must be more to it there has to be more to that tonight we are going to deal with some of it the shoulders who were sitting for prayer when they came up you know we think rudraksh or we see that lord shiva bead and we think they are all on the same and tonight i want you to hear a little bit about the different type that exists they saw one that is very rare when they came up here something called the one face the one face um rudraksh or the or the one um one sided rudraksh tonight you will get to hear about the different types and how do you wear it why do you wear it and what is the purpose of wearing it prem swalo mahapati mahadeva ki jai many times we see lord vishnu in pitya form in murti form and one of the one of the signs or symbols of lord vishnu is the sudarshan chakra that he holds on his hand in fact according to text when you are doing a flag for lord vishnu the symbol of his form is that discus that is all is spinning if someone asked you do you know the history or why we worship that discus so much tonight question is being asked about a lingam hari ishwar lingam that lord vishnu himself had made worship for help tonight we will hear the history of that sudarshan chakra let's enter into our discourse this evening where all the munis are asking as you are describing last night we heard about the jyotir lingam he says i've heard there is a lingam where lord Vish lord vishnu was offering flowers and he gains great amount of benefit could you please tell us a little bit o guruji about this form he says there was once a situation where great forms of calamity sickness had come across the earth it was as if it was a plague it was hitting everybody in every place was complaining about the same problem he says people could no longer do worship people could no longer because of their illness because of their weakness perform any type of fasting or vrat or do any type of prayer in many discourses children he says whenever the human race is like this and no one is doing hawa no one is doing prayer the devotees lose their lust and their energy and one by one all the devotees go begging lord vishnu please you are the preserver you are called jagannath please stand with us and destroy this plague whatever is causing this trouble please investigate and find out what is causing this this problem upon you and please save us prabhu 
As they go on, they beg him. He sits down and he devise, devises a way how to come out of this predicament. Let's hear what he does. As he opened his eyes from his meditation, Lord Vishnu says, this scourge, this sickness that you are facing, that you are talking about, is due to one person's prayer. He says, the devotees look shocked that somebody could pray and cause problems for other people. He says there are different types of people in this world and they are guided by different modes. In their mind, in some people's mind, praying for the detriment of others, praying for harm, praying for blood to be spilled, for children to be destroyed, for marriages to be destroyed. He says for some people that is their mode of prayer. He says it will sound very strange to you because you practice selfless prayer. Not only you don't pray for yourself, but you pray for other people. You don't only study, dear God, I am doing Lakshmi Puja, please give me gold and diamonds. But sometimes you think about the other people in this world that are going through difficulties, hardships. He says for a person who could pray like that, it may never dawn on them how negative some people are in their prayer. He says, but O oh, Devdas, be forewarned, this is real, it is there and it does happen. He says, I know for a fact all my weapons at this time, they will not be able to damage this particular demon. In order to rid the world of this scourge, I need to obtain a new weapon. For this reason, I myself am going to take up dhyan, meditation, prayer, puja, yagna, sacrifice. I will do this so that I will win the love of Lord Shiva. And he is going to give us an answer. In this way, Lord Vishnu prepared himself. Let's hear how he prepared himself to worship Lord Shiva. If I were to ask you tonight, prior to reading this, this verse, how do you prepare when you're going to do prayers? What is preparing for prayers? What does that mean to you? The morning when we have bandara or, or, or some form of shroud, the person has to get up and offer at least one pinda, depending on the time. One pinda, offer tarpan on the kush grass, do worship for the kush grass, RT, chandan, perfume, these things, in preparation for the prayer. What do you do when you are going to do worship for puja? How do you dress? The first thing you do, you're supposed to do, is to restrain your hair. After having bath and cleansing yourself from that side of life, when you're going to do prayer, whether it is to prepare, meaning literally put out all your ingredients, cook the prasad, whatever it is, the first thing is to restrain your hair. And the reason for that is, and this applies to male and female. Eh? If you look at Swami Sachidananda, you will see him sometimes wearing a covering over his hair. The reason is, I do not want my hair to dislodge and go and contaminate the prayer. If you see Mario Baba tying the hair in a jata, for example, this is another example of how this is done. To prevent the hair from getting loose now and going into something that you are preparing. In our prayer, in our preparation, cleanliness, hygiene is paramount. How could you go and prepare the parasad for God and you haven't bathed? How could you go and do puja and you haven't taken your showers yet? For some people, sometimes we need to remind them, listen, please prepare yourself properly. But that preparation for Shiv puja has additional steps. On that morning, whenever you are going to do your worship, the person, like Lord Vishnu here, takes bath with basma. When you go to have your bath, soap up and you rinse off, you take some of the ashes that you get from prayer and you pass that on your body. Let's use the word exfoliate, scrub your skin, then rinse off. And now I am ready. After removing the negative, vibrations the negative energy 
the dirt from my body, I am now ready to worship Mahadeva Baba. And one thing that he does, that the, the Shishya, the people that were sitting there, did not think about, was he prepared his seat, smearing the ground with gobar, putting kush grass, and then resting his mat or his sponge or whatever you, you sit on. The ground where you sit when doing prayer or job, that has to be secured via the use of gobar. And other things such as till kush grass could be used in addition to this gobar. But then Lord, Lord Vishnu goes and he puts on Rudraksh bead. Different kinds, big ones, small ones. And the Shishya, the God children, ask, could you please explain to us, Guruji, before going forward in the story, could you please tell us a little bit about this Rudraksh? And Lord Shiva explained to Mother Parvati what this Rudraksh was about. Please listen tonight. From the lips of Lord Shiva, the history for where the seed came from and why you use it. After listening to this tonight, you will understand why people go and they buy bracelets, why people wear it under their clothes when they're going to school, exams or work, under their clothing. It doesn't have to be something that is shown. It could be something private. Sometimes I go to buy Rudrex bead, I see some bracelets have 15 seeds, some have 30 seeds, some have different numbers, but not 108. And the first thought is that this is wrong. All is supposed to have 108. You'll hear about that tonight. Further, the real question is, suppose I have a Rudrex bead mala and it bursts. You know, it happens after a while they get old. It's using, using every day. It could burst. What about that scenario? Please remember what I'm about to read for you. Mother Parvati is asking Madhu, of all the grains, of all the seeds in creation, why do you adorn yourself with this, this type of seed called Rudraksh? Where did it come from and why do you wear it? Why is it so dear to you? And if I wear it, could I wear it as a woman? Could I wear Rudraksh? What are the rules, O Shiva? Please tell, please tell me. He says, oh Parmeshwari, Mother, once I sat down and I was doing Dhyan meditation and I kept my eyes halfway open and whilst I was doing the prayer, listening to the prayer of my devotees, tears started to well up in my eyes. And with those tears building, 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 after a while they started to run down my face. And when they've dropped from my face now onto the ground, from the two sides of my eyes, from the two eyes that I have, Rudraksh was born. And it dropped on the ground, one here, one on the outer side, one here, one on the outer side. Four types of Rudraksh, four colors of Rudraksh have been made into existence. Different ones grow in Mathura, Ayodhya, Mayachal, and Gaud, different regions of India. He says, when this was given to the devotees of Lord Vishnu to keep, to harvest, to grow and keep, there is no limit to these tears of mine. The four types, regardless if somebody argues caste, Please remember what I'm saying here. Some people think only the Baba could wear Rudrakshmala or use Rudrakshmala. He says the four castes are free to use this because of its nature, its potency and power. No limit to any person that wants to use this bead because it is coming from my body. All my children, all my devotees, regardless to who they are, regardless to what vanar, what type of ashram they belong to, they are welcome to use this for poverty. He says, please listen further about this particular seed. There are different sizes of green mother. There are some that are big and there are some that are very small, very tiny. The different size have different purpose. When people want to increase the comfort in their life, the fortune, 
they get big rudraksh, the big green ones, and they wear them on their body or they string them and use them to do job. In the Buddhist faith, they use big counters, big grains on mala like this. When you look at a Buddhist monk, you'll see them wearing huge, sometimes they don't wear it like this. Sometimes they wear it around their arm like this because of the size of the mala. He says if a person wants to increase the peace in their home, use the big one, you'll get that. If a person wants to overcome any type of misfortune, when people are born, what we call chatter, one, two, three girls, and then the fourth child is a boy, or you have three boys and a girl, or something like that, chatter. The person who is the fourth child sometimes have a lot of bad luck. And this is one easy way to overcome it. What do you do? You wear the small root drugs. There, there is prayers, don't get me wrong. There is prayers to shanty that. <coughs> But one way a person can overcome that misfortune or if you are born in bad time, gun the mool and the father is not alive or not around to do mool shanti puja and different type of trouble is taking the person. The person cannot have any form of prosperity. It is as if financially they are spinning top in mud all of their life when guided by their barber that this is what is causing the problem. Allow this person to wear the small red drugs and they would be able to cut such problems. Let's hear what he says now as he says. Let me describe Parvati. When a person wears this red drugs in this verse, listen why the barber and people wear it. Watch, watch Lord Shiva and you'll see he has it all over his body. If a person were to wear 1100 beads, it is possible. Sometimes when you look on the different Swami program, you will see them wearing thick, thick, plaited forms of Rudrax Malas. If I took a hundred Malas and I band it together, and this is why they wear it. The person who wears 1100 Rudrax beads, that person gains a position whilst he's alive or she is alive, equal to the servants of Rudra. It is as if a deuta from heaven came down to earth because this person becomes so blessed, filled with divine qualities, goodness, happiness by simply wearing the tears of Lord Shiva. If a person cannot wear that amount and the person wears 550 and practice devotion for Lord Shiva, <coughs> excuse me, wearing it as a crown on his head. The person who is applying to do all types of research, all types of projects, all types of buildings, any type of mental work that is regarded or re needed, meaning you're preparing for exam, by wearing the red drugs and doing the job for Lord Shiva, using Panchakshar Mantra, Om Namah Shivaya, that person would be able to overcome that difficulty. If a person wears six beads on their right hand and six beads on their left hand, that person, anything they touch would have barakat. If a person cannot get six beads and they get one redrux bead and they wear it around their neck, 11 around their arm, <coughs> and the person is fighting some form of poison within their body, Let's say the person who has leptospirosis or some type of poison from scorpion, snake bite, etc. By wearing these things, you are able to overcome that sickness. The person will get ill and then they'll, rec they'll recover. They will not die. The person who practices wearing red drugs should not eat meat, should not eat fruits that have a rotting kind of scent. Anything that is overripe, fruits, they should not eat that. And they should not drink wine or anything with liquor while this seed is upon their body. There are people that want to wear, they want to have blessed things on their body. Have you ever seen somebody going to hold liquor 
and all these strings tie up here, all the rocky here. Please remember this. When those things are tied, just like the ring on your hand when you're doing puja. Dear God, protect me. I want to do prayers today. When the prayer is done, before you eat all food, the grass ring this come off. You'll bathe and wash off that chandan. and it does remain with you every day. And when you're going to break that fast, it's time for this to come off. There are other forms of guards. There are other things you could wear, such as, <clears throat> according to the science of gemology, where you have different types of stone maybe, that hold less potent prayer, that you could wear it and still be unclean. I'm talking for everybody to understand, because this is a point that causes a lot of problems to people. If you go to a wedding and you see the girl wearing kangan in her hand, before they make toast, before honeymoon start, you will hear the mother say, take it off. Out of respect, take it off before you break your fast. And it's the same rule that applies even to this. There are other things that you could wear in your body that allows you to be any how you want and you still have God. But these things are a little more powerful, such as as simple as a seed like the root drops. Just for example, you know when you get your first mala is when you, when you receive Guru Diksha. When the Guru whispers the, air, the mantra in your ear, he shows you how to hold that mala using the middle finger, pull with your thumb, not the index. When used properly, that Jap mala is going to give you a lot of benefit, punyam. But this mala has to be treated with respect, with love, ownership. Many people take their mala and never to be seen again. He says the person who uses the Rudrax mala and keeps it, let's say in your prayer shelf, prayer room, I have a little nail where I can keep it or a little box where I keep it very dear. When I'm not using it, it is kept with religiosity. But then there are people that do not treat it with that ownership and regard. And when they lose it, when it falls, when it is desecrated in this way, no, you are going to have body pains. When you mistreat your mala, what is the effect, the karmic effect across your body? You're going to feel pain one day and you'll want to know why. And it is simply because of this. For this reason, Mother Parvati, when a person has their root drugs mala and they are not using it, let them secure it properly. Let them treat it as if I am standing there and they have that, that respect for me. Treat that mala with that respect. A person has to use the proper type of grain, not the one that is cracked. Sometimes when you buy a mala, pay attention and make sure it is complete and not broken or tattered up in any way damaged. When used in this form, as simple as saying Om, Om alone, Om Kar Mantra, Pranav Mantra, a person will get blessing. What type of blessing? By wearing red drugs during the day, the sins that a person commit during the night, is removed by wearing red drugs in the night the sins that a person commit during the day they are destroyed when a person wears red drugs and they are wearing tilak on their body on their forehead in particular know that when this person is going to die they will never face yamraj let me say that again every day we people dying people suffering and going through some kind of trouble all you have to do is practicing wearing Lord Shiva with you, having him on you, and have that ticker here. I have an uncle here when he's wearing that chandan on the forehead. Oh, let go see him. Everybody, they say this man is he pagal, he crazy, but he knows the value of that teal up on his forehead. When you see me come to do your prayer, or a pundit comes to your home and you see they're wearing basma on their forehead, there's a reason for that teal up on their body. And when a person anoints their body with the ash, with the tila, the chandan, <coughs> excuse, on the forehead region, and has this rudra, they will never see the face of Yamra. They would be met with Lord Shiva himself. Such is the blessing of poverty. If the person should only wear it, this is the blessing. He says, Devi, you want to know why? Why I wear rudra on my hands, on my arms? around my waist, on my wrist, not only here around my neck, but all over my body, why I tie it on my hair. 
Let it be known that the person who wear red drugs in their hands, their arms, their head, nobody, nobody can do you harm. Nobody can damage you. That person could wander wherever they want. And the negativity or the negative prayer of another person would reach in front of them, on the side of them, on the back of them, above them, below them. But it would never be able to touch them. No form of demon, no form of rakshas, no form of negative tantric prayer. Any person that is doing Vashikaran type prayer to coerce the mind of another person, to force them to do something that they don't want to do and they are wearing Rudrak speed, that person's negativity would not be able to touch them. Parvati, this is why I wait, so that whenever I go to battle, whenever I go to war, my victory is always assured. I always give my darshan to my devotee. Whenever they are doing my worship, let them wear this bead, and that type of protection will be theirs too. He says, when a person wearing the tila, when you reduction on the body and they chant Mrityun Jai Mantra Om Triamba Kamya Jamahe Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Urvaro Kami Vavandana Mrityo Muksha Mamrita Not only will they protect themselves but whenever they go wherever they go they bring blessings to the people that are around them This is why when the Pandit comes home by you when he's doing the prayer he's wearing that mala around his neck not only to help himself, but to help those people that he's guiding. If a person wears the various types of road drugs, they will get the blessing. Parvati Mata says, various types. There are types of this type of bead. I've never heard this before. Please tell me, what are you talking about? As I was explaining, for the people who were doing prayer tonight, they got the opportunity to bow to this. I know you can't see it, but it is a single bead. But it's shaped, if you get the chance, and you come and you see it, it's shaped different. What this is, is a one-face Rudrax bead. He says, the person who has the ability to touch, to wear, to get, to worship the single-face Rudrax form of Lord Shiva, that person's salvation is confirmed Confirmed, regardless to the sin of that person by wearing this type of green a person can redeem themselves obviously when you're wearing this you would have to as I said before you can't eat meat you have to live a certain way thereafter he says the place where this bead is adored Lachmi Mata cannot leave that place there cannot be disturbances so long as this is present in your home, so long Mother Lakshmi will remain there blessing you with barakat in different ways, health, finance, to family togetherness, etc. Principal Omapati Mahadevaki. There is a two-faced form of Rudraksh. That one, it is as if, you see how almond seed looks inside the fruit, where it has two faces joined together. It is as if just how my palms are, but it has a lip. Um, like you know, long time we used to get donkey eye. I don't know if you still have these things. Just as how the donkey eye had that middle rim, it is as like just like this two faces separated by a rim. It says the person who will wash this type of red drugs. Remember, we are talking also not only to wear but worship. Eh? How do you worship this one? Wash it with water. Take the water and bathe. Take the water and sprinkle all over your place. And Lord Shiva will protect you from thieves, bandit, people trying to play smart, people trying to coerce you, people trying to steal from you, etc. This is a form that business people keep. And they sprinkle or mop out their business place with it. And what are they praying for? Dear God, please protect me from bandits, obviously. But also protect me from workers that would like to rob me, steal from me, or in some way do me something. Many business people are in problems today. And one source of the problem, as I said before, the same people you are being gracious to, and you are trying to uplift, be kind to, give them something, make sure they have something. Those same people sometimes turn and stab you in the back. 
So you now, nobody is saying, this is an example of not praying bad, but you are saying, dear God, using a seed. Om Namah Shivaya is the prayer. Please protect me from that type of trouble, that type of negative. I have workers, I have family. We're trying to do something here to raise this business. Keep them honest. Prem Swaloma Pati Mahadeva Ki. The Rudraksh that has three faces. This one. When a person worships this one with white flowers and bay leaf, health is restored. What type of sickness? When a person has blood related infection, blood related deficiencies. Your iron is low, your this is low, potassium is low, so you're fainting plenty, sodium low, so you're falling down, etc. You're losing your balance because of your age and how life is for ladies with menopause, etc. You are not the person you used to be. Your appetite is different, your temperature is different. This is a form when worship with just white flowers and bay leaf, that blood could find normalcy, could find balance. The road drugs with four faces. Lord Shiva, the person, Mother Parvati, the person who wears this form of Lord Shiva upon their body is relieved of the sins up to of killing animals or killing people. This one is utilized by people not only who commit murder, but imagine the lady who had an abortion or parents for that matter. It takes two people to make a child two people to cancel that child if you have made this mistake this is one way a person can overcome that type of trouble if a person is praying to have devotion I don't know about God I don't know much and I want to learn students one of the common ones we get in Trinidad is the five fees for this reason to increase devotion <coughs> For this reason, when the child is becoming of age now and they are receiving Diksha Mantra, this is the mala that we give them, the one that has the five-face Rudraksh. So that the devotion is going to grow slowly and slowly. The interest in prayers, the knowledge about God, these things will grow within the individual. People who have, you know, let me say in your younger days, is to eat from hog to dog everything you could imagine and sometimes when people reach that age you know by, by the grace of god i have to say you reach that maturity you say okay i do enough i eat them kind of thing enough let me go you know let's start a lifestyle and you want to get off eating these type of animals causing that type of pain if you work like in a foul depot causing untold amount of death to animals a hunter and you are in want of asking for forgiveness when Lord Shiva was the hunter he wore the six face Rudraksh and if a person wears this because they have eaten things they should not have eaten they have hurt women they have caused pain to women this person would be able to overcome that sin by simply wearing the six mouth type of Rudraksh this is considered to be the Kartik Rudraksh because of the six heads of his mother and if a person wears this this person would be able to gain different types of blessing the seven face one if a person is very poor a pauper and by wearing that seven face Rudraksh if just one that person will become rich financially money will come to them the eight face one called the Vasumurti if a person wears this this a person enjoys life he is able to have strength in the old age physically very powerful barrow is the form sitting on the eighth face rudrach and when for some people when old age comes illness come weakness come when you don't want to be like that a person wears the eighth face rudrach on their neck or around their waist and that health is maintained the nine face one is the living breathing form of no Durga Mata the nine of them sitting there each face for one of the mothers incarnated for the Navratri if worn on the left arm on the middle arm area here devotion 
all forms of energy, all forms of development of Kundalini energy in the form of Shiva and Shakti together that person could attain that that person who wants to hone mantras and develop job their body would be protected from the taking you know when we talk about sapping sapping is our lady she's born with a mark on her leg or her spine we call it a snake and sap and these types of people when they jarry you they take from you all the sickness the trouble the pain if a person wants to jarry somebody or help people as now they are reaching to this stage in their life and they want to do it a major risk is that when you help that person you take whatever they have but it now is coming on you if you don't know what you're doing so one of the ways to shield your body from that type of occurrence is to wear this nine face Rudrux bead on your left arm and for tonight the last one I'll talk about the ten face he says when the person wears this they transform into that of Sri Hari Vishnu himself when he would do my worship that person comes so genuine so strong now that whatever the desire is whatever they are praying for I am going to grant it Parvati Mata there are many other types given here and he goes on and he tells her that for example if a person is worshiping the grain like this one face one that I have here the mantra said with me Om Kring Nama if we go to the ten face one like what we're talking about Lord Vishnu as his brain he dressed himself all over his waist upon his janeu he had one around his neck on his ears for example you would see him wearing and the mantra for this one is Om Kring Hum Nama and the person brings the energy into it and then when you're wearing it it gives you that blessing a person who wears a rosary or a mala of redrux all evil spirit all visage people that practice negative any malignant spirit lost spirit dream bad dream these things cannot stay close these things have to go Ganesh Baba himself sits by your head and protects the individual or the child that sleeps with red drugs upon the body so that when that child goes to sleep there is no bad dream ill dream or ill fate tonight as mother Parvati is wrapping up this section of question it says imagine when people are old and sickly and they have different health problems the protection this brain could bring remember in your mind the katha of dashrat when he was getting ready to die imagine the person is breathing the last and we want to encourage them think about god but if you are having a nightmare imagine how easy it is to get a stroke or to get so frightened you jump and with that jump you're gone when you put this on an elderly person if you go to look for a sick in the hospital and they are wearing it on their body understand what they are trying to do is to shield the person from seeing any yam doot any deceased member of their family to frighten them it is a way of keeping them calm so that they would see god and when they do leave this body they would go to god please remember that lord vishnu prepared himself going back to where we had started with the ten face the one that could attain any desire he puts on this type of bead all over his body in this garb in this dress he goes now to beg for Lord Shiva oh Ishwara I am doing your puja for the benefit of everybody please allow me to gain your blessings and he sat there doing all different type of mantra but Lord Shiva didn't appear and he says I am going to do harder worship and you will have to come Oh Mare Baba, he started to chant the Ashakam Panchaksha Stotra, Shiv Mana Stotra, different type of prayer, praising Lord Shiva in different way. He started to make a lingam out of dirt that would become the Harishwar. <coughs> Excuse. Lingam. And he worshipped this lingam offering water drop by drop, saying mantras to Lord Shiva, and Lord Shiva still wouldn't come. Lord Shiva is looking on and he wants to test. To see what would he do. 
Lord Vishnu now resolves that I am going to chant his name. I am going to call his name. Sahasranam means I am going to call it thousand names of Lord Shiva. It is a vrat that people do up till today. Imagine we have a lingam and we are going to put for every name of Lord Shiva, we are going to put a bay leaf on the lingam or touch the bay to ghee and put it in the fire as an offering to those various forms. He is going to call the name, but in his offering, he goes to a huge lake and he harvests many lotus flowers. And for each one, each name that he calls, in the form of Rudra, Krishna Arpan, and he rests one of the lotus. In the form of Shambhu, I give you this. In the form of Shankar, I give you this. In the form of Papa Bakshna, I give you this. In the form of Bhaktavatsala, I give you this. And he's going like that, one by one. Now we cannot even see the lingam. It is covered with a mountain of lotus flowers. And even then, Lord Jiva wasn't finished with him. He's going, going, going. And when the numbers were coming down, there's only 25 lotus left, 24, 23. Lord Shiva wanted to test Lord Vishnu one last time. Let's hear what he does. Lord Shiva comes and he steals one of the flowers away. And he wants to see what, what will Lord Shiva do, what Lord Vishnu do. If it were you, what would you do? You're checking and you lost count in the job. You're doing the job and somebody comes to interrupt you. You're doing the prayer and something goes wrong. What will you do? Let's hear what Lord, Lord Vishnu did. See it in your mind. Imagine Lord Vishnu sitting. He's looking different today. He's wearing white. And he has the Rudraks bead all over him. That's the only color difference. And as he's about to offer his second to last lotus flower, Om Namah Shivaya. And he feels for the last one. It is missing. It's not there. The tray is empty, everybody. Lord Vishnu opens his eyes frantic now. He wants to finish his offering. What will Lord Shiva say? He's deficient by one flower. He gets up and he starts to look. Not only in that place, but he looks throughout the world, Guruji says. He's hunting for that particular flower. Where did the flower go? And then, realizing he cannot find the flower, he comes back to where his prayer is. Talking to Lord Shiva, he says, Shiva, Baba, even now when he doesn't find the flower, eh? look at how his mind works. Shiv Baba, what type of game is this? Shiv Baba, where, where did my flower go? If I can't find that flower, I have to close this press. He says, people call me the one with lotus-like eyes. He says, you know what I'll do? I'm going to pluck out one of my eyes. If it is so described as a lotus-like flower, and I am short of a flower, I'm going to offer you this. Without a second thought, without losing composure, Lord Vishnu put his finger here and he was ready to rip it out. To offer this now as the last act in this offering. And Lord Shiva, seeing the sincerity in his prayer, decided to manifest and he comes to look for his devotee. Holding the wrist where the Rudrax was, holding that wrist and he says, no Baba, no. Imagine you had the opportunity to witness that. Lord Shiva appears and he holds the hand of Lord Vishnu and he says, No, Prabhu, no, no, no. I was testing you. I wanted to see if your resolve was true and what would you do if you were so tested. Lord Vishnu says, Prabhu, I've only come here to do your worship for the benefit of other people. And I want nothing for myself. I do not wish anything for me, but upon the earth there's this plague, there's this sickness, and I want to get rid of it from the right foot. Where the top of the foot is, not the underneath that is touching the ground, the top part here. Lord Shiva placed his hand there and he takes out from his feet this Sudarshan chakra that Lord Vishnu is known to have that Krishna uses on the battlefield that came from the right foot of Lord Shiva. He says, oh Ishwar, I give this weapon to you. May you please accept it 
and hold on to it use it when the time is necessary but know that when you release it whatever target you aim at it will not stop until that target is destroyed use it as a last resort use it for the up upkeep of dharma use it for the upkeep of my devotee and it says that a person who wears the rudraksh the person who listens to this discourse please put your hand together and you just ask lord shiva lord shiva i never hear this before mari baba for those of you at home this is truly an opportunity for me to listen just to listen about my god dear lord it says that when the person who wears the rudraksh listens to this discourse causes another individual to listen to this discourse about the origin of that sudarshan chakra that sudarshan chakra unknown to that individual will still come ambulate that person whenever they are going and you call on mario baba please go with me the weapon of lord vishnu will protect you wherever you have to go when people have to meet with enemies when people are meeting with people who are smiling on the outside but they want to stab you on the inside these people will not be able to come close to you something will happen and you will hear oh they couldn't be here today mari baba please bless and protect your children tonight the only way i guess as a pundit the only way i could really thank anybody is to pray and ask god to bless you everybody please clasp your hands today alone to put things in perspective as a pundit today alone i got news of six different people dying today when i was planning my discourse and reading and preparing of what to share with you different families were crying different people were going through different types of misery and if tonight you have the blessing of being together with your family if for just one second please whilst i say this pray i have a friend who is in the hospital and when he heard of a little accident with his son he got a very detrimental stroke he's in the hospital and they're trying to save him tonight we lost these people today and the question is who are we going to lose tomorrow this prayer manas puja is when you no longer could use your hands i cannot get up and offer hawan and dar i could only worship you here all i have is inside my mind we talk a lot about worshiping god in that last moment when i'm leaving this world i want to worship god but how many people practice manas prayer mental prayer so wherever you are whatever you're doing you could stop take a breath and say a prayer lord shiva this prayer that i'm going to say i am bathing you tonight in my mind i am seeing you sitting and i am coming with a lot of milk and water and i'm bathing your form the prayer goes on to say about bay leaves and etc but in your mind if just for one thing see lord shiva for one second and dear god bless me till start to practice praying wherever i go whatever i am wearing wherever i am help me to find you in my mind ratne kalpita masanam himajale snanam cha divyam badam nana ratna vibhushitam mrigumada modankitam chandanam jati champak bilvapat rachitam pushpam chadupam tathat in your mind i'm putting a mala for you mario maybe on the murti is so small i'm putting a flowers but in my mind i want to put the biggest mala for you please accept it pushpam chadupam tathat deepam devadaya nidhi pashupati prikalpitam gruyatam sovarne navaratna kandarachite now it's time for me to feed you madhav patre gritam payasam 
भाक्षायां पांच विवेद पयोदीयुत ब्रह्मफल पान का ओ नम शिवाय ओ नम शिवाय ओ स्व तत्सुर्भिण्यम दिव्यो यो न प्रचुर ओ भूर्भुस्व तत्सुर्भिण्यम भर्गो ओ भूर्भुस्व तत्सुर्भिण्यम भर्गो देव से मही दियो न प्रचोदया प्रेम सुब आदि शक्ति माता की बचायोरी मोहन बेन बचायोरी चलो सखी बेन रावन चलिए मोहन बेन बचायोरी मोहन बेन बचायोरी शिव शंकर मोहे शिव शंकर मोहे ज्ञान ध्यान नहीं पायोरी ज्ञान ध्यान नहीं पायोरी चलो सखी वृंदावन मोहन बेन बचायोरी मोहन बेन बचायोरी चलो सखी रावण चलिए मोहन बेन बचायोरी मोहन बेन बचायोरी बेन सुनत राधा मोहे की दुनि सुनी ना झलिया बिंद्रावन बिहारी लाल की जय